okay so we have performed in the part two of the video of the arcgis in which uh, we are trying to find a catchment area till the flow direction uh, next step is the flow accumulation so let's do that so for that let me zoom it out a little bit why is it so much zoomed in okay now it's fine the flow accumulation is here just click on it select the flow direction raster so it is flow direction and don't select anything else and then ok now wait for it it will take time now this step will take a lot of time so let me pause the video I mean let me pause the video recording not video <laughs> so it is still um, being performed the flow accumulation so let me tell you something if you had selected the whole earth or a whole region or the whole country here in your arc GIS uh, image for the uh, for the catchment area calculation so imagine how much time would it take it, it it will take a lot of time but that's why we are just focusing on a specific region like this and that's why I, I clipped it here so clipping it is important just clip it estimate it and make it as accurate for yourself as possible the estimation should be as accurate as possible so that the, you don't have to do it again because if it was not accurate if the estimation was wrong so your catchment area will will be like this and if it is like this there is something missing so you have to do it again but if the estimation was right so it will be somewhat like this and then it will be fine and you don't have to do it again so it should be not too big the picture should not be too big not too small so the details are just accurate and the software then will find it easy to do it and it will take less time so and do you, do you just imagine this is not a this is not a small catchment area this is a realistic catchment area of a realistic dam this is a big location that for which we are trying to find the uh, catchment area flow accumulation so it should take a little bit of time right so let's wait okay so finally the flow accumulation point uh, have been performed completed now this is how it looks like after the flow accumulation is complete now the second uh, the, the, the other step is you have to zoom in and see where is your exact location that we located initially see if it is on any point where the water is flowing if you see in my case there is a little gap do you see this little gap I have to remove because if you see this area this is a little light in color and this is dark so I need to place it in this water flowing region so that it can be there, there is some time error so we have to remove we have to place it here there can be some coordinate error because it might not be too much exact so if you see this light uh, black or I mean light black I'm saying it is a little whitish sort of thing you need to place it here I hope it is visible so you need to move it here how can you do that um, editor start editing inlet okay select inlet and move it here anywhere here anywhere on this one because the cache material for this will be same if I don't do that so it was on empty space and for empty place there was no catchment area so I need to place it on somewhere where it gives a result now editor save it editor stop editing now snap pour point the other step is the snap pour point so click on that after you have done this click on that select the feature point or input raster so the input raster is the inlet and uh, input accumulation raster is the accumulation of course uh, flow accumulation and then okay mm -hmm. and it it is done quickly so thank god once it is done the other step is now uh, let it let us see use the watershed so let us click on the watershed or create a watershed. so where is the watershed? here here click on a watershed I hope that our water should successfully okay so select the flow directions for flow direction input raster feature pour point so it is a snap pour point snap pour point okay now let us pray <laughs> let us pray that the watershed is correct or the catchment area is correct so this is the final and here we go here we go 
here we go let me zoom it out i hope the, the now this is the point where we can see whether the catchment area is like this or it is like this if it is like this then we will be happy if it is like this then i will have to do it again so let us see let us see oh 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 oh, oh. we can zoom it out oh thank god still it was it was it is still too small if you zoom it out look 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 now look just see okay this is the this is this window that i select and this is the catchment area so if i had clipped it more it was still fine but i did it for safety purposes so you guys can now imagine how the estimation might be so important right so now this is the catch now let us compare the catchment area <laughs> This is the real catchment area. Do you see this? Now you guys can just compare both of them. Can I just smaller it? Um, I hope now you guys can compare it. You guys see this area, this area, and you guys can just come keep on comparing it. So it is quite accurate, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Done. Okay. Now we have represented in a real. A shape we have found the real shape of the cash material now the next step is what next step is finding the exact value that is 42 square miles of the catchment area or maybe somewhat near it so let us find that for that the next step is raster to polygon conversion you have to convert from raster to polygon. so you know what is a raster you can just google raster and whatever i just cannot explain it in this video and you need to convert it into polygon so how much is it really? okay we can do that so how you can convert it come here and just go to conversion tools and go to from raster to polygon click on this so what will happen this will be converted from raster to polygon click on it select the input raster so input raster is a watershed and okay now let's wait for it i hope it happens quickly it will okay so it is converted into polygon now we can find the area so the next step is unit conversion uh, unit conversion to uh, pgs the projected uh, that system now okay so the other steps will be explained in the next lecture because i think it is it is going uh, okay we can go towards the 10 minutes so we will do it in the next video okay fine so we'll just start continue from the next video from the unit conversion and finding the real area. Thank you very much.